River Navigation, GPS Only Navigation No is brought to you by Sailing Toucan. This video will show you why GPS Only Navigation is highly discouraged. Captain and Mate Farmer have navigated with paper charts only, Loran, and now GPS chart plotters. We're happy to be able to share our experiences with you with our completely free videos. We're currently sailing a 29-foot Catalina using a dedicated chart plotter, open CPN, and paper charts plus cruising guides. You can never have too many sources of navigation information. The problem with GPS only navigation. When you're using a GPS navigation app, you don't know what you don't know. Land navigation using your car's GPS routing is deceptively simple because you have well-defined streets to follow. Even then you may have difficulties. On the water there are no streets and even inland, only sailing lines and buoys. We need to be much more careful aboard. These are the learning objectives that this video will cover. Many Present-day cruisers rely too much on GPS-only navigation on a single device and may not be aware of its many limitations. Land-based mapping accuracy has increased greatly since my civil engineer grandfather measured distances by tensioning a surveyor's chain and adjusting the length for temperature. When it comes to water depths, the situation is totally different from land. Soundings could be many years old and could have been made with lead lines only at some undisclosed spot interval, possibly missing underwater features like wrecks and shoals completely. A NOAA paper chart for the Bahamas with the date of January 2017 state C4 coverage. Large depth anomalies may be expected. In this area, we don't even know when or how the depth survey was made. Water depths cannot be seen in aerial photographs and even sonar mapping may be inaccurate or non-existent. The familiar raster navigation paper charts that many of us use lack useful information and were originally designed to be supplemented by light lists and coast pilots. We don't need a full ECDIS information display system, but even they use paper charts as backup sometimes their third or fourth level of backup. Electronic charting systems like we use have a subset of ECTIS capabilities. We benefit from ECTIS improvements and additions. Electronic raster navigation charts or a simple picture scan of a traditional chart with all of its many limitations. Electronic vector navigation charts are a database of extensive vector data somewhat similar to an AutoCAD drawing file. This vector data can be converted to a very accurate chart picture. Here's an example of a vector navigation chart of the Fort Loudon Marina area of the Tennessee River. 
The object query pick report in white shows another whole layer of information that is available. In the past, navigators had only paper charts, plotting tools, a sextant, and an accurate timepiece. Their plots were always behind the ship's position. Today we have electronic navigation devices, but the underlying chart data is only as accurate as the survey, and in some instances these are many, many years old. The Coast Guard is recently emphasizing paper chart plotting skills by increasing the passing plotting score from 70 to 90 just like the required rules test accuracy. Never, never rely on one source of navigation data. Raster charts on your chart plotter lack information that you need and can be supplemented with PDF light lists, coast pilots, plus cruising guides. Note that throughout the world, hydrographic offices have been slow to produce sufficient quantities of ENC data. Be very careful in foreign waters. Raster and unofficial electronic charts should be used with extreme caution, and their datum should be checked very carefully. With raster chart pictures, you need charts of different scales for different tasks, and they take up a lot of disk storage space. If you're using a raster chart, be sure to download the free PDF Coast Pilot as well. They contain useful port information not included on the RNC charts. As of 2020, NORA is phasing out traditional paper and raster navigation charts. You can now download free NOAA custom paper charts, but these need further development based on our suggestions. If you're using uncertified proprietary electronic charts, be very careful. One such chart several years ago showed me 300 feet up on the bank when I was actually in the middle of the river. We're repeating here, but never, never, never rely on any one source of navigation information. This overscale raster chart of Destin, Florida gives an unjustified sense of accuracy that is not supported by the accuracy of the underlying survey data. If you underzoom an RNC, it can become unreadable. You need to be very careful about zooming out too far on a vector charts since useful data can completely disappear. For us, electronic charting systems, ECSs, are big help and can save time but you still need to look out the pilot house window and check your position whenever possible. This zoomed out chart of a large area is obviously very cluttered with unreadable names. With OpenCPN, these can be toggled on and off as needed. Here we have the same previous chart decluttered and it's now much more usable. Even professionals can get into trouble. You absolutely must maintain situational awareness, especially when using autopilot. 
An automatic identification system can warn you of other vessels in your vicinity that are transmitting AIS information like larger and commercial vessels. Please be warned that inland apps can only see AIS data from vessels that are near an AIS to internet interface. Receive only AIS like that shown on a VHF radio lets you see them, but they can't see you unless you have an AIS transceiver. This is an AISB transceiver for smaller commercial and recreational vessels that transmits and receives data so they can see you. This is an example of a full AISA transceiver that we use aboard the Star River boat that's required on larger commercial vessels. They transmit even if the vessel is moored, but less frequently. This is an AIS app showing 166 vessels of different types in the New Orleans area. To fully utilize your electronic chart plotter, you do need training. Reading the manual is just a start and you need much more. Phone apps are particularly problematic but tablets with open CPN are much better. Dedicated chart plotters are specifically designed for marine use and many can display depth, battery voltage, and other data. First, for cruisers or for planning at home, we highly recommend the free and very comprehensive OpenCPN chart plotter software. Free OpenCPN has many sophisticated capabilities and as such has been selected by America's Boating Club to teach all of its advanced marine navigation courses. Second, select a dedicated chart plotter to fit your helm station that can interface with other devices and then do planning with OpenCPN at home or on a laptop aboard like we plan to do. We sincerely hope this presentation has convinced you that you definitely need training and two or three levels of backup navigation information. References used in this video were from the free online American Practical Navigator, originally written by Nathaniel Bowditch. It's used worldwide as a premier training text and is continuously updated on the web. We hope you enjoyed this free video and will like, share, subscribe, and tell others about our website so that others can become more knowledgeable marine navigators. See you on the water.